everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com and today we are going to be continuing on with our series from a call 7813. This video is video two in that series. So if you missed video one, you can click right here and check that out. Um, in video one, we got through a lot and you probably will be able to get through more than I did because my fabric was striped and plaid and I was really trying to make sure I lined everything up. But if you have like some solid fabric or just some printed fabric and you're not really trying to match up stripes or what have you, you could probably get further than that. This is a really, really easy skirt to sew up. So in the first video, we uh, did darts. We sewed the back seam. I sewed my fronts to my backs at the side seam, finished off every seam, pressed every seam. So we're just going to pick back up today and see just how far we can get in 30 minutes. All right, so let's pick back up where we left off. We were able to fuse our interfacing pieces together before time ran out. That was on step nine, and now we are down on step 10. So let me go ahead and get my timer here. 30 minutes, now we are starting. Oh, great, there's my hubs. <laughs> okay, totally just wasted about a couple seconds messing with my husband. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna pull pin at the notches on the side. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this down, both of these sides down now. Okay, I have it sewn at the sides and we also need to finish off the lower edge of the facing. I'm gonna go ahead and press the seam open. And it looks like the lower edge is the side that is without the notch. So make sure that you have your notches at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and finish off this lower edge that was with my serger. And then I'm going to fold in that serger stitch and then stitch it down um, at like a one fourth of an inch stitch. Alright, y'all, so I have my facing, the lower edge of it finished. I surged it and then I fold in that serge and I stitch. It's about a one-fourth of an inch finish on the facing, the bottom edge of it. Alright, go ahead and put that to the side. Now I'm gonna grab my skirt. Okay, so right side is facing. This is here. Match my seams, match my notches. So here's a notch, okay, and here's a seam, okay, now I'm going to continue pinning, and it looks like all of this gets pinned. Is there a notch? There is a notch. There's a notch on this side as well that will match up with the notch on the facing. So now I have my facing pent, right size facing to my skirt. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch all the way around and then we're gonna do some under stitching as far as we can go. So let's go ahead and do that now, y'all. I'm gonna head to the machine. The facing is now sewn on and I did a little bit of under stitching. So now I'm gonna do some trimming. Okay, got all that trim. Now I can flip everything right side out and then we can tack down at our side seam. Facing is pressed. The next step is to tack down the facing at these top at the side seams. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you something that I like to do. Now, if I have like fancy fabric or whatever, I won't do this. I will hand tack it. But for this skirt, I am okay with just lining up my seam lines here on my facing and on my side of my skirt, and I poke a pin through, make sure it goes through the seam. Then I bring it back through this side. I wanna make sure everything is on the seam, like this. So now I can go to the sewing machine, I can stitch just a little bit right here just to tack the facing down so that the facing's not moving. You can either come all the way down here to the end um, just to tack it down. So that's something that I like to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack my other side seam and I like to make sure that those seams are matching. So now I can take it to the machine. I'm just going to stitch right 
just a little bit. I'm not gonna go all the way down, just a little bit, just attack the facing down. So I'm gonna do that now. I have the facing tacked down. You can see, I have it tacked down right here and it's tacked down and you can't see it. Um, but again, you can always hand stitch it and do whatever works best for you. So now we are down to the finishings, y'all, the finishings. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hem up the skirt. Uh, I'm just gonna press up my hem. This is probably gonna take up the rest of our time doing all this pressing. So, so first I'm gonna press up a little, maybe like one fourth ish. Then I'm gonna go back over it again and do like three eighths. Yes. Then I just pour you some juice. Can I have some milk? Oh, you want milk? Oh, okay, okay. Uh oh. It caught me in the middle. Time's up, y'all. Okay, y'all. So. That is time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish pressing. Okay, our 30 minutes is up, so let's recap everything that we got done in the second video for our series of McCall 7813. And again, I'm doing view D. So we sewed the sides of our facing. We finished off the lower edge. We attached the facing, trimmed it, understitched it, uh, pressed it, tacked it down on the side seam, and we made it down to pressing up our hem. So I'm really, really excited and happy with this progress. I really do hope that you all have enjoyed this second video in our series. And yeah, that's it, y'all. Make sure you come back for video three, and we'll be done with McCall 7813, our Sew in 30 series. Blessings, everyone. Bye.